I might go on for a while here, so I'm just warning you folks ahead of time. Because this is as raw as raw can be of a commentary or a comment. There is no me right now sitting down at my desk and with pen and paper and writing out my main points and then trying to develop them a little bit and then create a bit of a script before I, you know, um, record. And it's about this, you know, what I find really rich, I find really rich a bunch of idiots that have jobs on television or wherever, and they make commentary on Prince Harry's um, award that he will be receiving um, at the ESPYs. Now, listen, I'm not going to get into any discussion about a person's mother and what her opinions are. That, that, that is her opinion. She's entitled to have them. She's not a member of the committee that um, chooses the, the person or people who they, they will nominate for that award. And then ultimately they choose a person who gets that award. Now, it's interesting to me that she chose to speak with, you know, a British outlet um, that is known for what they're known for, right? And family grievances amount former daughter-in-law and former mother-in-law. I leave that to them. So I have no, no commentary about that because... If she was on, and this is the mother I'm talking about, um, if she was on the committee of selection, then then by all the means, right? As a member of the committee, and if she, she disagreed with what the, 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 the board decided or the committee decided, I, I would say, listen, go right ahead. I, I, either, either, either way, either way, Right. But I'm not going to take that into account. What I'm taking into account are these morons who sit on television on their shows and Harry and Meghan are basically, I would say, look, I don't, I don't have a calculator. I, I am not going to sit down and try and figure out how much of their salary they owe it actually to Meghan and Harry. Um, but probably 80%. Okay, let's just say that because every time I see that person, uh, what's her name again? The one with the, with the eyes that, that I, I, I don't know if she knows that she's part of the joke about, you know, being the, the, the U.S. representative of royal correspondent or something like that, that you know, it was interesting to me every time. And I've, I've avoided talking about that person because listen I, I i don't like getting my hands into that kind of muddy waters right i have colleagues who do that much better than i do i'm not i don't i i do my my, my thing and i let them do their thing because they're really good at it right so but today i'm gonna i'm gonna try and not try and be good at it but i'm gonna try and just say what i need to say so there she is, but and, and and she's like, you know, she said she said, um, let's I had, I had to write this down. Um, Harry and Meghan said that they're going to do service to others, and when she when she said the word others, she 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 opened her eyes like, listen, listen, Tammy Faye wanna be, okay, you ain't no Tammy Faye baby, right? You ain't. You ain't, not even close. You're just a wannabe. I feel really sad for you because if you don't know you are a joke and they make a joke of you, have you seen their thumbnails every time you're, you're on? They make a mockery of you. 
But you may say, listen, I get paid. That's all I cared about. Then that's fine. Look, get your bag, get your coin. All good. All good. Obviously, you don't care how you get it. Because, let's see, there isn't one bone of honesty and, and, and morality and values within your entire cranius that spews out the things that you say. You say, they promised us that they would give us a life of service. Um, may I ask you, my dear, whatever, you, I don't care to say your name, sweetheart. Um, <laughs> what have you done lately for humanity? No, 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 tell me, what have you done lately for humanity? I mean, that's almost a song. What have you done lately for me? Ooh, yeah. I am absolutely serious. What have you done lately for humanity? What, 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 what have I done? Oh, baby girl, I, I don't need to tell you what I've done, but if, if, if I needed to list them, I would. I would. Because the things that I don't get my hands involved in, if I can do something different to help out, I do. So let's, let's not discuss that. We're discussing you. Because you see what I find really rich are people who stand on their, what do they say in English? Is it soapbox or something like that? Stand on their soapbox. I want to tell others, <laughs> how rich how rich and let me see then then this 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 um mikey baby mikey 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 listen i don't like attacking people's like looks or anything that's i'm not going to do any of that right but um but let me just say that I think the sadness of the state of intellectual sincerity and honesty in British media and those that call themselves journalists, even Animal Farm, the pigs are more honest. How can you all just live with yourselves is beyond me. But I guess you get a paycheck at the end of, what, two weeks, a month, whenever it is. But what you don't realize is that this universe we live in, this planet, this earth, this place, Mother Earth, has a way of, how can I put this? Um, sending you back one way or another a hundred times more of what you've wished upon another person. I don't wish either one of you anything that you don't deserve or that you have not already wished on upon yourself. Because you see, you already have. So there's nothing for me to say. What I'm trying to say is just your dishonesty in regards to, oh, well, they're not A-listers anymore. You're not being invited to the Grammys and the Oscars. <laughs> You know, it's better if you were to talk out of your other hole. The other one, the dirty one. Yes, that one. Because if you spoke out of that one, at least I would, I would say, you know what? It's a dirty hole talking. The dirty hole has no intellectual 
thought or way to process. It just knows to do like maybe two, two things, maybe three. Well, I don't know what you're into. So maybe you have other options that, that it does. But <laughs> the idea that Harry and Meghan are out there chasing fame and the idea that Meghan will have to, let me see, beg her former colleagues, co-stars from Suit to come on some podcast. And that, what, what did you say? Um, yeah, the podcast failed so badly that she had, and even the, even, even, even the company she worked for slammed her about it. You know, your dishonesty is either idiotic, stupid, or you don't know how to read. Because last I checked, when archetypes, I, I, I think you're, you're speaking about archetypes, right? Because if you're not, then my apologies. But I'll speak about archetype because that's the one that I know about. If there's another one that really failed, you know, you can, you can, you can reach me here or something. Leave, 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 leave a comment. Archetypes, as far as I know, it's either the only one or one of the only podcasts that beat out the Rogan guy, the number one, and all of them, the number one. Now, your dishonesty, because I, I'm, I'm assuming you can read, right? At least put two sentences together. Time and time, week after week, we saw where the podcast landed. In most countries, number one, in others, in the top five. And many a people around that time subscribe to that company that was hosting, right? The platform. So if I'm not mistaken, I think one of the executives or someone had said, you know, our membership or subscription or who has increased by this much. And the person had said, I think in great part, it has to do with archetypes because it's, it's, if it's not number one, it's, it's in the top five in most countries around the world. Now, what happens when an executive becomes disgruntled because they're not going to get their way or whatever? Now, things are signed, right? The deal is done. Megan walked away with her entire library for her podcast because one of the most important things that I've learned from Oprah, you must own your material. Own it. You don't give it away to someone else. You own it. So the Duchess of Sussex I don't know what their contract was at the beginning, but let's call, let's call him Mr. Executive. As all of the intellectual people, all the people with substance, right? At that time, were saying, hey, we're gonna leave because you're changing the rules here on us. The Obama's left, so, I'm assuming, this is assumed, allegedly. Megan probably saw what the new next year was going to be like, and she said, well, that's not what's the deal I wanted, what I signed on to. So, I, I, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm no game. I'm no game for year two. So what does, what, 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 what does a hurt guy do? What does a guy do when he's rejected? What does a guy do that doesn't know how to accept a no from a, a woman. What does a guy do when a woman says, uh-uh, 
no baby no 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 i don't think so right and his ego and his macho-ness and his all that thing that some men have oh revenge there's even a category in pornography about that right revenge how can i get my revenge oh well he said what he said and you morons who know better you pick up on it and you repeat it like a freaking little parrot you know i don't know <laughs> i do know <laughs> So I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say. <laughs> so let me see. So Harry and Meghan are paying for awards. And I think, I, I think, I think that the woman said, the one with the, yeah, 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 her with the, uh, can, 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 can it, can, 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 whatever her name is. Um, the one who wants to be, yeah, tell me if um, Now, you're paying for the awards. You know what? I'm going to give you this. What if they were? Let's say they were. Why do you care? Why do you care? And then, the holy grail of it all. Right? Invictus game. And we know how much, like, they want to all claim that Invictus game was co founded. The Invictus game started out of this royal blah, 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 and the this and the that and the hoo hoo hoo. And, and he didn't really do it. He didn't, eh? Okay. Let's say he didn't. What have you done? What have you done? To make humanity better. What is your what is your service to humanity? Because Miss Thing said, uh, Miss Thing said, they told us they were gonna have a life of service. And I'm still waiting for them to have a life of service. Do I need to list the things they've done, Miss Thing? Or do you need me to show you how to go to a website and click? And see, do you need numbers? What, what, what do you need? Because your intellectual insincerity and your absurdity of thought leaves me so, so in a state of sadness. Sadness. Because, you know, I was in Central America a few months ago. Well deserved, by the way. Um, time off. And there was a lot of content creators, right? Going to restaurants and stuff like that because things are, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a happening place. And it's pretty reasonable. So anyone on a budget can actually go and actually have, have a pretty okay time. You know what I found amusing? I saw so many content creators. They would be at a restaurant and they'd be saying things like, and this caldo was, 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 it was, was, was stewed in, in the special beef for, for 24 hours. And you can taste the richness of the culture. And the minute the camera came off, the phone, the whatever they had, the minute that light came off, it was amazing to see their faces. Amazing. Just such blankness, such, such, void of happiness, such insincerity, chasing the golden carrot, chasing it. What is your life like? When that camera comes off that you've got, 
when you take the, the eyelashes and the stuff and the caricature of yourself off, are you happy? Yes, it's, it's, it's fine to make, to make a bag. It's fine to collect a check to make some coin, my dear. Absolutely fine. And maybe you are part of the joke, and you know you're the joke. And I know some people don't care two figs how they make their money. They don't care. Two figs. But you know, dishonesty, knowing that you're being dishonest, and knowing that you're part of a system of a people that is wishing harm directly or indirectly upon a family that has done you nothing. Has done you nothing. You cried about a princess that doesn't even know your name or cares much about you. Who produced a, and this is not me saying this, I'm not inventing anything, this is them saying this, a Photoshop image. If her husband was a man of honor and dignity, as some of you claim he, he is, he would have not allowed, let me say that again, he would have not allowed his wife to be blamed. Ever. Ever. But no. He said, go ahead, blame her. Even though he said he took the picture. As his wife sat on a bench, and let's not even argue whether the photo is, 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 something that was created or not. Let's just assume it was all real. A wife, the love of my existence, is going to speak to the nation and to the world. And I'm such a good husband, I'm such a man, that I will not sit next to her. But in her speech, she goes, and he's right beside me. Right beside me. Hmm. I don't know, but, you know, I make lots of mistakes in English. I make them in Spanish. I make them in Portuguese. I make them in Italian and French. Oh, don't get me started. But, you know, let me tell you something that is personal for me. My mom has had, I would say, two very huh, life-altering health situations. I'm not going to tell you about the first one because it's none of your freaking business. But I'll tell you what my dad's response was. The doctor said, here's the option. And my dad said, say that again. And the doctor said, he repeated the option. And my dad said, that's my wife you're talking about. My wife. You find another option. Because that's not the option for my wife. I was right next to my father when he said that. And I've never been more proud of him. That's a man. That's a man. The second, as I've spoken about it here, is when my mom was diagnosed with cancer. And I don't know about Every woman, I'm not going to speak for women, I'll speak for my mother. 
when they told her they had to take her uterus out, it did something to her. It did something to her. We all saw it. We all knew it. My father, her husband, he was step by step by step by step next to that woman. And even though, let me make, make it very clear, sometimes she wasn't an easy person to get along with. Understandably, she wasn't. There's a lot of stuff happening. And you know what he did? He just said, ah, woman. That's all he did. Woman. Ugh. And two seconds later, He's like, ah, let me get you some coffee. Let me get you some tea. Let me get you some... Da -da -da. And she's like, I don't need anything. Leave me. Da -da -da. He's like, shut up. That's a man. You see, when a man says that he is going to be side by side with his wife and take care of her, but then he goes gallivanting all over the place, That makes me question. But you see, you have a different definition of all of that. And I am wondering, I'm sitting here wondering, am I delusional? Or all that makeup and, and, and eyelashes and, and mascara, has it all just poisoned parts of your brain? I'm not sure. I know they do tell me that it's poisoning that stuff. I'm not sure. People say that, but I'm not sure. Right? And Mikey here. <laughs> Mikey that is just the emblem for the United Kingdom. <laughs> A word of bravery and honesty. And journalism. <laughs> oh, you all fascinate me. You fascinate me. You make me sad. You know, at the end of the day, I get it. We all have to pay mortgage or rent or whatever. We have to feed ourselves, clothe ourselves. I get it. You know, you say that the public sees through all of this. I hope so. I hope they do. Because I know some people are just stuck in this environment of hate, of misinformation and falsehood, of false prophets. False prophets. There's so many these days. People who have failed in their oath to their profession and don't care a damn. People whose egos determine how they're going to attack <laughs> a woman. Because she didn't return a call or something like that. Sad, sad, sad. You know, my father taught me at a very early age. Actually, didn't teach me. He showed me by the things he did, by how he behaved, what a real man was. You see, I have this uncle who I guess you folks would call 
real man, you know? Big macho. Big mouth. Talks a lot. You know? He's quick to stand, be, 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 be in fury. Ready for a fight. And I remember at one point, someone said to me, gosh, your uncle is so cool and, and awesome. You know, he's a real man. He's like a macho. And I remember saying, that's what you think? I said, well, you're entitled to your opinion. I, I, I have other examples of what a real man means. And no offense to my uncle, but uh, he's a man. He is a real man, <laughs> as far as I know. But if we go by what people define and their definitions, and I've said this before on this podcast, they're real men doing hard jobs every day. <clears throat> real men who take care of their wives. Real men who take care of their sons, their daughters. Real men who go out and work hard in order to provide, take care, Real men who take responsibility for their actions. Real men who don't lift a hand to show authority or strength. Real men who are not embarrassed by the things they have to do to take care of their wife or their child, their children. Real men who's never asked once, not once, for any praises for what they've done. Nevertheless, happy for them to receive it. This man that you so feel, <laughs> whatever you feel about him, Prince Harry is more of a man than any of you will know, and more of a man than any of you will be and more of a man that you wish you could even breathe the air he breathes. You're a sad excuse, monsieur, to call yourself whatever it is that you call yourself. And madame, I will not disrespect you. My father, the real man, taught me better. So I wish you all the best, as I always will. And may life bring to you, in a silver platter, that which you deserve. Adieu.